everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and I'm feeling a bit rusty because I haven't filmed a video in a long, long time. My name is Ella, if you don't know, I make a variety of lifestyle videos with the intention of inspiring you to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Today's video was actually inspired by um, Jess Lively, who is a podcaster that I listen to religiously. Really love her work, so I'll link her um, details down below if you haven't listened to her um, show before. I know a lot of you that follow me love her too so um, you know my love of Jess and why she's so great and yeah she did an um, episode called 10 things I'm afraid to tell you I think. Um, so I've listed down 10 things on my phone that I'm going to have a chat with you about today. Definitely get a cup of tea or coffee whatever you want. Hit subscribe and let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about which is many of the reason why I've taken such a gap between making videos and that is having Teddy has been pretty hard. <laughs> now I'm gonna make a video on this separately I think and I'll go into more detail and just give you some like tips if you are thinking of getting a dog or puppy yourself. Um, I just want to say do not regret having him at all but it's definitely been much more difficult than I anticipated I think and I'm learning a lot about myself in the process of this, my like character strengths and my character flaws. And I think like having children, every day is gonna be different. There's always a new challenge, always something to deal with. And we definitely have good days, we have worse days. Um, for example, yesterday he rolled in some fox poo, so that uh, was pretty disgusting. I like I had to clean it up and I was like retching the whole time. Just part of having a dog. When I'm going through it, it feels all very new and I feel very kind of, frustrated sometimes at how impatient I get over things. You see on Instagram I post like the cute things that he does when he's sleeping and looking all sweet <laughs> um, but there are the moments where I'm just like crying out of frustration um, so I just want to keep that real that it's not always been easy. The main thing at the moment is that he's got quite bad separation anxiety so if I leave him uh, for longer than like going to the toilet and then he gets really like barky and starts whining and I know that's normal but he doesn't even settle even with my family so Someone's coming round um, this weekend to have a um, look at him, is that the right word? A look or like chat with him and myself, um, a friend of a friend who's studying canine dog behaviour management or something at university and said she'd come round and like give me some tips and things I can do. But, um, yeah, it's just been a challenge let's say, so anytime I'm not looking after him I'm like working so it's been trying to balance both things and obviously still enjoy him because he is the cutest thing ever. I can never be mad at him for too long because you just look into those big brown eyes and yeah. Um, number two is that I am going to train to be a life coach next year. So I've officially signed up with a Beautiful You um, coaching academy and I've still had a bit of like anxiety <laughs> or like um, feeling like is it the right choice, have I made the right decision but it's been something I've been wanting to do for a good while now like nearly a year and I feel like sometimes in life you just have to take that risk and it's either now or never uh, well not literally but I felt like now is a good time to do it and it doesn't start till February uh, it's all online and like lectures and things so I really want to help people I go into it more in a previous video I did on like my life update I think um, so I'll link that down below for you as well uh, yeah but that's official now and I am very excited. It doesn't feel quite real yet because it's still not till next year but I am looking forward to it very much. Um, number three is that I am definitely a perfectionist and I guess maybe other people can see it quite clearly like my friend was like oh yeah that's obvious you are um, when I mentioned it to her the other day but I never felt like I really was a perfectionist. I always thought uh, I know like nothing's ever perfect. In theory I know that but then I still find I definitely approach things like um, Instagram that way or YouTube and just life in general I'm always trying to get things done. I'm always like okay when I tick off these things off my list and I can be happy um, when like I look a certain way or have certain things there's no such thing as perfect um, only things that you can kind of perceive as perfect on social media and other things but that's not real life and I say it I know it but it's just like believing it and like actually um, putting less pressure on myself to be a certain way for people and just being myself really and being happy with myself. Yeah, so definitely a perfectionist and something I'm working through. 
trying to um, reduce the perfectionist tendencies. And uh, number four is that I still live at home. I guess it's something you know, it's not something I've been afraid to tell you, but I feel like I'm afraid to tell people when I meet them for the first time because I feel like it's, um, not embarrassed by it, but I know it's quite common for people my age, so I'm 25, um, but I think, I guess part of me judges myself for still living at home. I feel like I would love to have moved out by now and I would love to have my own space. I do feel very um, claustrophobic at home sometimes and I've just got to trust that there's a reason that I'm still here and maybe I need to work on my relationship with my family, um, maybe I need to learn to live with other people and be less selfish, <laughs> maybe there's something in it I think. Um, so I'm obviously saving to move out. I'm not the best at saving, I guess it's something else <laughs> that I need to work on but yeah I'm currently living at home, part of me wants along the short term um, just renting somewhere and like getting out of home and living in my own space but then the other part of me is like you're just giving this money to like no one no actual physical need for me to move out because I work from home so I don't have to be um, anywhere else to commute I love the idea of living in London if I could afford it on my own terms <laughs> but yeah for now I'm living at home I'm single so again I think I think when I compare myself to people on social media that I follow and admire I see them like in their own penthouses in London and they've got their like perfect boyfriend, walk-in wardrobe etc so sometimes that makes me feel a bit shit I'm not gonna lie. From now on I'm gonna set myself a challenge of just producing content like YouTube videos, Instagram things but not consuming so much because I feel like when I do that I block my creative energy. Maybe other people can do that and it inspires them but for me I just I think at the moment where I am I just feel so deflated sometimes that it stops me from actually doing the things I want to do and creating the brand or image of myself that I want to so for example now I could be spending time scrolling on Instagram instead of like filming this video so it's weighing up what's actually going to get me to where I want to be in life so that's something I'm just going to try out for a while and see how it goes. I think we're on number five. <laughs> I'm really really into like I guess woo woo stuff or spiritual things and learning how our thoughts and feelings affect our reality, law of attraction, um, all sorts of things like that. I've done like fun courses online like Jess Lively's got a course I've done and just like self development stuff. I'm just like obsessed with it and I guess maybe a bit too much at the moment I'm kind of taking a break from it just because I feel like you can overload yourself with information but not actually practice what you preach as much um, so I'm taking a bit of a break listening to like a few select podcasts uh, which I can also do a video on but yeah I really like learning about quantum physics and that sort of thing I really do believe that um, we all can be, do or have anything we want and it's only your beliefs that uh, limit you, your limiting beliefs that stop you from achieving your dreams and it's something I'm trying to work for obviously, like no one, again, is perfect but yeah, it's something that I am practicing and getting better at, like I definitely manifested Teddy into my life and I even have a list on my phone of all the qualities that I wanted in a dog and I mean I've forgotten to say not needy <laughs> but everything that I wrote on there is pretty much exactly what he's been like so little things like that just like reaffirm that um, there is something higher than us that exists and I just find it fascinating really learning about um, the truth of our reality. <laughs> Previously I didn't really have many people in my life that were in spirituality um, so I'm right surrounding myself with more people that have similar outlooks in life to me and it's just a lot more fun that way because I think whoever you, su you surround yourself with then it's kind of like you build each other up and you get to the level that you want to be. Number six is that yes I am generally very healthy and um, like exercise and that kind of thing but I don't always have the best relationship with food. Sometimes I have days where I, have over I feel like I've overeaten and just feel really crap and really fat and like my clothes don't fit very well and like I don't look good in anything and I guess as women we all have those days, I guess men too, um, but I'm definitely not like some sort of health guru or definitely have a tendency to overeat like sugary things and 
eat things because I feel like a bit sad. Even like things like peanut butter, chocolate, dates, even like the healthier things that you should still have in moderation. I tend to overeat if I'm feeling a bit sad. And I have those days sometimes like the only thing that's gonna make it better is going to sleep and then starting again because once you're in that kind of cycle of feeling bad and then like eating crap then you just carry on doing it and it takes like sleeping literally or napping to whack you out of it and start again you just have to know that it's not a permanent thing it's only temporary and experiences are only temporary and will change and life goes on basically and number seven is that well, I've touched on it already a bit but that I am constantly comparing myself to other people I know know <laughs> that I shouldn't be but when I really monitor why, like over the last few weeks I was feeling a bit down about things, it's because I'm like literally spending all my time on Instagram thinking, oh, so-and-so is doing this, so-and-so is doing that. Why can't I be doing that? This is where I am, this is where I am sucks. <laughs> and I know that's literally like the worst thing you can do. When I read all these like self-development books, it's about being happy with where you are while still being excited about more. And I have this real thing <laughs> at the moment where I just I want so much that I find it really hard to be just satisfied with where I am. If I'm completely honest, that's what this video is about, just being honest with you. Sometimes like I have so much that I want and I know that I can achieve that it kind of makes me almost stuck in a way because I just feel like I've got this like desire and then I'm not knowing in my brain how to get there, whereas I need to actually learn to let it come to me and that is basically all about surrendering to life so that's where not checking Instagram and not watching other YouTube videos is going to come in because I need to stay focused on myself and being like the star of my own show <laughs> rather than like the cameo in someone else's. I heard that in someone's podcast and I thought it was really good. Number eight is that I've never actually properly meditated. Now maybe that's not shocking for any of you <laughs> because I guess it's not a really common thing but I do like meditate quote unquote and I try and like sit there like quiet my mind for like 10 minutes but I don't really feel like I ever switch it off completely I'm always very aware of things so I guess it's not really class in meditation I feel like proper meditation is when you know, don't know you're like head from your toes and you lose all kind of sense of where you are and really have no thoughts um, no idea of like space and time awareness yeah I've not really had that experience ever would like it sometime but I just feel like my mind's always racing too much to get that so hopefully one day I'll get there and um, I'll let you know when I do. Um, number nine is that I have quit the gym. <laughs> now that's not really a forever thing but for now um, while I'm looking after Teddy I don't really have the time to, especially with the separation issues, <laughs> I don't have time to leave him for like an hour or more at a time um, including like getting there and showering etc. So I've quit the one I was going to and I'm doing, how many is at my door? Do you wake up? <laughs> He's gonna sleep there, I think, while I finish this off. Um, so I don't really have the time to. I guess I could make time, but at the moment it's not really a priority, and it's adding more stress to my life than necessary, I think. And I've always done home workouts and been fairly motivated in that way, so I'm trying to fit in little like videos when I can, and I don't think I'm gonna go balloon up. So hopefully not. Anyway, we'll see <laughs> these videos if I do. And number 10 is that I don't really think that hustling and hard work is the key to success. I think that it's more so about adding value to other people and putting positive energy into the world and that's what comes back to you. I don't think people that are successful, yes they might work really hard but it's also about the energy and love that they have of what they're doing. I don't think people that hate things, people who hate their work, never really get too far, it's about doing, finding things that you're really passionate about and then putting your energy into that as much as feels good to you and then putting it out into the world, giving your services, whatever you're doing. The concept of like hustling and like working nine to five, I think that paradigm's changing. Um, so many more people make money over the internet from passive income and I think that's the way I would like to eventually live my life and I really don't think that office work suits suit some people and I know some people don't have um, a choice not to because that's just where they are right now. Most people I don't think really thrive with working that way. I know I personally don't and don't really suit an office environment. Yeah I just think times are changing and 
hustling and hard work has its place, but I don't think it's sustainable for very long. And if it's not making you happy, why do it? Especially in the creative industry, I think it's really important to have breaks and allow for uh, inspiration to come through because if you're like constantly thinking through your mind, then it's hard to get new ideas and, I don't know, clear out the clutter and noise from everyone else. So that is what I wanted to say on that. Pretty much 10 things that I've been afraid to tell you with the help of the wonderful Teddy who was sleeping over there in the corner. Um, Fox poo free now. Hope you found this video interesting. Maybe you even want to share it with a friend or on your Instagram stories. I would love that and obviously tag me um, on there too. Leave a comment letting me know if you like this video. Maybe something that you have been afraid to tell people as well because if I'm being open and honest I think you should too. Thumbs up for more videos like this and subscribe to my channel to help spread positive vibes. Till next time I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you soon.